Hmm. Old machines, when they sit for a long time, they get really noisy when you start them up. And uh, this old axle and lathe has probably sat idle for maybe up to five years. I think uh, the machine tool dealer had it for a couple of years. I bought it for a couple of years, uh, a couple of years ago. Run it just for maybe a, a couple of hours. But um, when I can, I, I run it and it, it's getting a lot quieter. Let's check it out. I think it's pretty neat. Okay, here is the button. Okay, that got the motor going. Of course, the uh, axle sun is direct drive. They tell me there's kind of a rattle that if you hear it, it it's a coupler. But I think this one sounds pretty good. I heard some that are really, uh, they don't make quite a bit of racket. Okay. Let's start it up. Got it in gear. I think about 300 RPMs or so. Pull the clutch here. That sounded pretty good. Let me go back around. Probably noisiest back here. Back to the headstock. But I think it's really satisfactory. Now, one thing I noticed. It took quite a while for uh, the, uh, it's got a hydraulic brake in there, and it took quite a bit of running for that to start working. I'll push it off. Well, let's try it again, it's still sticky. Then it's starting to slow down like it should. But the clutch, uh, the clutch is uh, working, and I've had to make a, a few adjustments to it. I'm going to try that again. See if that brake starts acting better. The more you use it. speed and high range. Okay, that's high speed there. I don't think it's the fastest, but it's getting close to a thousand. The fastest is um, 1127. 
I don't know, probably around 800. But uh, go around it, see what it sounds like. <laughs> the brakes uh, getting to work better and better. Now, this one, this machine has the famous Kuno oil filter. And uh, every time you run it, you're supposed to rotate the handle. And that cleans the filter. Now, I, I cleaned out the trap in this. And uh, it keeps coming out clean. I'm not finding any deer teeth or anything. But uh, I'm not going to open up the headstock out here. I may do it inside if I need to. But uh, so far, so good. I'll be uh, changing the oils in it. But uh, I tell you what, it's sure running quieter. Just learn a lot quieter. We can get back down in that lower speed. You really gotta muscle the levers on an axle sound. Yeah. That's probably about 200 RPM. About slow speed in the high range. Into a stop there. All right. All right. Now I'm working on uh, this uh, cover here, and uh, I'm I'm um, grinding on it, or actually filing on it, so I can get it to fit better here. And uh, I'll tell you what. This thing, uh, this older Axelson has a uh, cast iron rear cover and it's really quite heavy. And uh, I'm going to get all this more and more cleaned up. I've actually gone over this probably three times so far. And it's still pretty, <laughs> pretty dirty. And I get back into there and all that trying to get the smell out of this small old machine. But... Uh, what dog's that? Oh, it's a dog in a truck. So, you know what? I'm going to call it a day. And I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, sharing my uh, Saturday adventures. And I'm going to pick it up again in the morning. I got that uh, taper tap attachment to finish up. And lots more to do. I didn't even get the radio drill uncovered today. But lots to do. Okay, I'll see you in the morning. Sometime I'm sure I'll start this up again. Well, oh, it's rattling. What's going on there? Uh-oh. What do you think that is? There we go. I better check the contacts in those switches. This, uh, this machine does have the uh, original 80-year-old switch. Oh, yeah. Fire right, it up here. Yeah, I think I'll just let it run for a while. Um, I'll like this video, and uh, I will be back. Bye.